The nitrogen cycle is a natural process that occurs in all aquariums, including reef aquariums, and it's the process in which waste like fish waste, uneaten fish food, dead organics, dead organisms, things are broken down and converted into less toxic substances. Now, in a healthy reef aquarium, the nitrogen cycle continues that process of breaking things down in order to help maintain water quality in a overall healthy reef aquarium. So if you're brand new to the reefing hobby and you're setting up a brand new tank for the very first time, you have to go through the nitrogen cycle. Now, one of the key players in the nitrogen cycle is the beneficial bacteria. This bacteria is responsible for converting ammonia into nitrite and then into nitrate. So when you're setting up an aquarium for the very first time with brand new live rock or dry rock or brand new sand and water in the aquarium you're going to have to go through this process and those are the three main things that you're going to test for ammonia nitrite and nitrate it's very important to establish this colony of beneficial bacteria in your reef aquarium before you introduce things like fish and corals to your tank and getting through the cycling process the first time in the correct way is only going to set up your reef aquarium for success so step one the very first thing that you have to do once you set up your reef tank we need to provide it with some form of ammonia now back in the day people used things like table shrimp and put the shrimp in the aquarium to decay and then the bacteria would form and convert that ammonia into nitrite into nitrate but the main thing that you need to do is add some uh, ammonia source to the aquarium so you can use dr tim's formula where you have a little bottle of ammonia and you have dr tim's one and only or nitrifying bacteria that you can add to the water to jump start your aquarium and get the nitrogen cycle started now, if you are brand new to reef aquariums or saltwater tanks and you're looking to set up your own, or maybe you're in the beginning phases, I do have a reef aquarium checklist that is a guide to help you know what to test for in the beginning stages, like the nitrogen cycle or the, the tank cycling phase, as well as what to test for weekly as your reef tank gets going. Now, if you want this checklist, it's completely free. Just go ahead and click the link down in the description below. Type in your email address and I will email that checklist over to you for free. It's a helpful guide that gives you some idea of some equipment that you need for a reef aquarium, what to test for, and it gives you more detail on the nitrogen cycle as well. So go ahead, check out that link in the description below and I will email you that checklist completely free. Now the cycling process can take a few weeks or some months to get done depending on how you execute the process. Just know that the nitrogen cycle is converting these three things down to a less toxic level that's going to help support your fish and your corals life in your aquarium. So touching on ammonia real quick, that's the very first thing that you want to test for in your aquarium. And you want to test that every couple days, at least once a week, you want to make sure that you are getting an ammonia reading. So once you start seeing ammonia results on your test kit, you can watch the ammonia climb and then it will start to drop off. And you're going to watch your nitrites go up and then you'll see your nitrites go back down to zero. Once you are getting those results, you'll start to see nitrates. Now, once you start seeing nitrates and your ammonia at zero, your nitrites at zero, and you're seeing some nitrates, you'll know that your tank cycling phase has reached the end of the process, and then you can start adding things to your reef aquarium. But you, however, you don't want to add things too quickly as your tank is still processing and still developing its beneficial bacteria. So once you've reached that step, you can add a fish to your aquarium. So again, you wanna be sure to monitor your water quality and make any adjustments necessary during that initial setup phase because it can take several weeks to get through the initial tank cycling process. Once the nitrogen cycle is complete, it is a good idea to maintain your reef aquarium with water changes. Water changes are gonna help you dilute the nitrate levels and keep those low as well, so that way you can have a healthy, thriving aquarium. Now, your reef tank is going to go through a bit of a journey as there are what's called the ugly phases that you'll experience throughout your reefing journey, like hair algae, cyanobacteria, Hopefully not dinoflagellates, but 
there's just a few things that develop as your reef tank is maturing. Now there's a few things that you can do to help alleviate those issues in the very beginning. Now, once you start to add fish to your aquarium, you can also add copepods as well, even sooner than that. And the copepods are gonna help eat debris like detritus and waste in your aquarium as well. And you can also add utility fish like tangs if you're looking for algae eaters that will help graze on the rock works as these different phases are starting to happen in your reef tank, keeping them at a minimal in your aquarium. Now, if you found this video helpful, then I know you're gonna like this video right here. So go ahead, click or tap your screen to watch that. Thank you so much for liking, commenting, and subscribing, and I will see you in the next one.